The uh, topic uh, of our deliberations now is the inclusive city. Um, and I think that's appropriate because cities are about people. Everything we've been talking about ultimately leads to people. And um, we are going to try and join some of the dots in this, um, in this session. I think uh, Gautam and myself as co-chairs, we're going to keep our uh, interventions quite short to try and give some uh, more time to audience participation at the end. Uh, but we've got a packed agenda. I just wanted to say one thing, um, and that is we've been talking about inclu inclusive cities for a very, very long time. But I'm very optimistic because I think the way we've been talking about it has changed. In 1997, I edited a book called A City for All. And um, in that book, I was reminded by Simon Gusa from um, Lagos uh, that um, in this collection which uh, followed Habitat II in Istanbul, I talked about um, the relationship between people and cities and cities, both uh, physical cities and governance, as, um, and he reminded me of this, collision, collusion, and accommodation. When we had those conversations, though, back at Habitat II in 1996, we were talking past each other. The social people were talking to social people, the infrastructure to infrastructure, and so on. The effort at gender mainstreaming, which was very, uh, very deep at that time, was one of the first efforts to be inclusive within the, the broader framework. And I think, as Sue Parnell has pointed out in some of her work, that uh, gender activity in the urban space was one of the first ways of making the debate more inclusive. Um, so what we have here is the collision that has been very palpable, but I also think uh, very, very progressive because we're at least talking to each other now. And so the nature of the debate, to which I would strongly um, observe that uh, urban age has played a strong part in over the years and the various conferences, has been a big step towards inclusion. So that's enough from us. I'm going to call, first of all, uh, on uh, Rahul Mahotra, uh, who is going to kick off the discussion. Go ahead, uh, Rahul, um, on designing inclusivity. And we are going to talk in this first section on the physical environment and how that plays a role in inclusion. <laughs> 